The indie scene is the happening thing And Len Amsterdam is the digital king The beat of the street, you're in for a treat Check out Len Len Amsterdam, Frankie Len Amsterdam Johnny Proctor, and you're listening to the Len Amsterdam Show. Now here's a guy who knows how to make a grand entrance, and who has decided to ride a big surf wave right into the Len Amsterdam Radio Show studio. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present from Fort Jackson, South Carolina, United States of America, the one and only Johnny Proctor. Whoa! Well done, JP. Hey, Len! What's happening? I wish I had sold tickets to that entrance. You are a true showman. Why, thanks, Len. I have been told that I have the perfect face for digital radio. Can you tell me a little about your history as a musician? It's more or less a typical story. I played a lot of garage bands, a lot of nightclubs, and a lot of dives. Uh, any place that would let, let, let us uh, set up a couple lamps and a cheap PA we would play. And, you know, and I would played some more upscale. I opened uh, for Phil Keggy, the great Christian guitar player and musician. But I never got it all out of my system, so here I am. I'm a husband and a father of four, and I, I, just, I just love to do it. So I'm going to keep on doing it, and great promoters like yourself have made it a cool thing now. How would you describe your sound? Well, then I would describe my sound as... Uh, Centered around the human voice, you know, I, I love vocal music, and every, anybody who hears me will immediately pick up that I have been heavily influenced by uh, vocal groups like the Beach Boys and the Four Seasons, uh, and even going back further than that, maybe the Four Freshmen. It's guitar, bit driven, and it's uh, very bright, optimistic, hopeful, happy, and uh, uh, hopefully it uh, brings some healing to the listener. That's really what I'm after. Who is your musical hero, JP? My musical hero is Brian Wilson, and uh, that, that is something that I make no apologies for. I'm very devoted to, uh, to trying to learn from the, the man. He's such a genius, and uh, his music, you know, it's been 45 years since the Beach Boys hit the scene, and their music is still really fresh. But I also, uh, I mentioned Phil Keggy. I'm very influenced by Phil Keggy. I learned how to play guitar out of a Beatles songbook, and I'm a Beatle maniac to this day. I've really picked up a lot of influences right here from the uh, independent scene, the uh, independent musician scene, and I listen to other artists, and I hear what they're doing, and it really turns me on. Do you have a hands-on approach when it comes to the production of your own recordings? Hands-on approach, yeah. You could say that, since I sing all the voices, play all the instruments, do the editing, the arranging... And the, the mixing and mastering, so I would call that a hands-on approach. Thanks for asking. What do you think about the new opportunities the Internet has brought for the independent musician? Well, the Internet has set an entire new landscape, and it's, it's, very, it's very egalitarian. It's putting a lot of people on the same footing as uh, maybe the more powerful established musicians, and a lot of people are getting heard. And I find it really exciting, and I mentioned a minute ago about uh, being influenced by other contemporary independent artists. You know, this is going back to the way it was back in the bar band days. You'd, you'd be influenced by the four or five groups that you would play with on a circuit. But now there's four or five thousand. And uh, the on online music distributors and the promoters and, and enthusiasts like yourself who are really working hard to get us listened to, uh, you've made a, an entire new scene, and it's, it's just an exciting environment. Everybody's welcome, and uh, nothing is off the table. Now, one thing I was very surprised about was your profession, a, a very demanding one at that. Well, yeah, I'm a professional combat soldier, and we're at, it's a time of war right now, so it's a pretty demanding uh, profession, but it's also a very rewarding profession, and uh, it's a pleasure to serve with uh, the dedicated... Uh, servicemen and women that I do serve with and our coalition partners like uh, our friends from Canada. You recently spent some time in Iraq? 
Yeah, I sure did, Lynn. I was in uh, Iraq uh, in 2003 and 2004 to uh, remove Saddam Hussein from power. We lost some really good men over there. We really changed the country for the better. I really believe that with all my heart, and I believe that the mission was a necessary one, and I believe that the long-term results are going to show that. Now, there is so much negative press on what the U.S. is doing here. Can you share some positive news from this front, from the point of view of average Joe soldier? Sure, Lynn, I'd love to. Uh, what you won't see on the network news or the cable news is how the people's daily lives have changed, how their, their eyes are full of hope and their schools are open and their, their uh, hospitals are open and industry is happening. And even though there is this insurgency and there's just a small handful of really hard-headed bad guys, uh, the people are generally very optimistic. Uh, they enjoy freedom. You see what happened on the election day. They all risked their life to go out there and, and vote. And uh, just to see... On a daily basis, you can see the neighborhoods change. You can see the markets opening up. You can see the kids back at school. Uh, and, it, you know, you look on the news and all you see are turned over cars and flames and all this. But on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, Iraq's just like a normal country. Uh, but it's a, a normal country that is uh, full of the, uh, the, the prospects of what freedom brings. Your website uh, lists one of your dislikes as negativity in a lot of the modern music being produced. Can you elaborate on this? Well, I think art, and particularly music, is there to help us express our emotions, all of our emotions, not just positive emotions or hopeful or, you know, being inspired or, or being joyful. Um, and so there is a place to express negativity and anger and darkness and bad moods and depression and things like that. But just uh, when I was talking about negativity music, I, I, I'm really talking about melodies, talking about the way... A certain feel or a certain uh, sound of a melody or lack of melody, should I say, nowadays with some of the, the music. It's just, there's no attempt at constructing a, a meaningful melody. And I'm a melody guy. I grew up listening to the Beatles and the Beach Boys, and, and melody is very important to me. And uh, that's what I meant when I said negativity. Of course, even some of the lyrical themes are just off the map. Now, I'm not even going to go there, but let's just say... Uh, you know, I'm looking for something to uplift and inspire, and particularly to heal. There's a lot of hurting people out there, and there's, there's a lot of music that, when you're not looking, it really touches you on the inside, you know, and it does something good to you. And uh, th that's, that's what I try to do with my music. I agree with you here, Johnny. I've always thought that good music should be both entertaining and uplifting. You have incorporated your faith into your music. Well, then, the reason that uh, faith is in my music is because faith is in my life. Uh, there was a time when I, you know, I felt like I didn't need God. I was, you know, sure of myself and a little hot shot and a little local rock star and doing my own thing. And, you know, life has a way of leveling you out and making you see that you're not, you know, the world's not revolving around you. You know, I, I, I thank God that, uh, that I'm even alive today with some of the things that I was into. And, uh, and I try to put that... That in my music, you know, that God is the purpose in my life, that His love is what drives me and what to create and to, uh, to sing and to make uh, melody and poetry and rhythm and to reach out to other people and say, hey, listen to this. And, uh, and I get a lot out of music from other people's faith as well. John, can you give out your website address for people who want to find out a little bit more about Johnny Proctor? Sure, Lynn, that would be... Uh, johnnyproctor.com that's where my bio and some some pictures and some army stuff and things like that are there but also just go to soundclick.com and do a search for johnny proctor and you'll find a, a couple dozen of my songs there some of them are just demos and i invite you to listen well that's a wrap i just like to thank johnny proctor for dropping in in the studio johnny proctor is in the top of my playlist and should be on yours too land amsterdam radio show broadcasting from canada Heard worldwide. <laughs>